Hello and welcome back to another video with me, Rusty. How are we all doing, guys? I hope you are well, wherever you are in the world. Um, thank you for joining me for another video. This is episode 15 of our what first things to do first few hours of the online playthrough. So in episode 14, we completed the last couple of missions for the Enforcer, which were pretty straightforward. Go to the site, lock up the guard enemies, shoot them until they're dead, and loot their wrecks. Um, that's pretty much all it was for most of the Enforcer mission, apart from one where you get smart bombed, which you just warp away from. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm recording this video straight after that one, so if you have uh, left any comments on that video, um, I haven't seen them yet. Um, but I hopefully you have, and uh, I've replied to them, or at least I'll do my best to reply to them. Uh, and also thank you for anyone who has watched that video. Um, seeing seeing you guys watching the videos and enjoying them really does make my day. So um, we've picked up, well, we're about to pick up the first um, mission of the last industrialist. Um, and as I wrapped up in episode 14, we're just going to do a bit of mining, more blueprint stuff, so more... Um, actual manufacturing we'll probably do some reprocessing as well because we need to get some of the ores out of this Veldspar which is usually um, titanium or something like that so uh, we're going to pick this mission up and we're going to get a miner but before I do that we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping so we've got some rewards to claim so we're going to claim all of them and then we're going to come back and uh, collect these yep um we get calente frigate nice we'll just open that container anyway for now and we'll come back into the hangar we will inject that skill right now there's no point keeping it we've got a blueprint there already uh yep let's just tidy up the cargo holds we got a tag from killing some of those rats from loot which is why it's always worth looting everything you kill we're going to stick them in there because we're not going to need any of that because we're going to go over to the venture so yeah we're going to close this we're going to accept this i am now going to head over to our little venture which we got from our first industrial mission or industrial agent i should say uh, let me just check what we've got fit for this guy. We've got the Miner 1, and we've got a Gatling Railgun. We've also got a Miner upgrade and a Afterburner. So what we can do... Did I pick up another one? I can't remember. Did we get a Micro Warp Drive? Because another one of them would be great. So we've got two Afterburners. So we're going to repackage them because we don't need them. And no, no, yeah, no, no, uh, micro warp drives. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go out with the afterburners. So our venture is already fit for mining, and we can go out. So if you've been following along, you should have this same kind of setup. If not, like I said, it's just minor one. A Gatling railgun just to fight off the rats, an afterburner, and an enhanced uh, mainly mining laser upgrade one. So that's it. So we are gonna undock. Uh, I suspect in this video there's gonna be quite a bit of kind of fast forwarding because we're just gonna have to circle an asteroid for a little while while we mine it. So it's not the most entertaining thing to watch, but we'll uh, we'll do it. We need to do it, so we'll crack on. Anyway. Warp to site. And we'll get our mine on. So I'll be honest, my overview is not really set up for mining at the moment because um, I spend a lot of my time hacking, so mine's set up for that environment, which you'll see on the other videos, um, the Norsec Adventure ones, um, how I use that. So we're going to do a lot of switching between the tabs here 
Um, obviously, feel free to change your overview however you like, but I shall keep mine as is. So I need to switch to general, um, and we need to find an asteroid. So this one has Veltspire. This is what we need to mine. So we're going to lock that up. Actually, can't. Going to have to approach it because it's uh, have to be within 17 kilometers for me to lock up. This is why the uh, afterburner is good. So yeah, we're just going to burn over to this little asteroid. Once it gets in range, I'm going to lock it. Again, holding control and left clicking. Once it's locked, I switch back to my hunt. And then we have to be within 10. Yeah, 10 kilometers for the miner. So I'm actually going to orbit this at 5,000 5, meters. Turn off the afterburner because you don't need it. And I'm going to press F1. Uh, again, if you want to read this, feel free to. So, yeah, well, our miner is going through on a circuit on his little cycle. So, once that bar goes round to, to green, it will mine some ore. So, yeah, I'm going to fast forward this now so that. Uh, uh, basically, once once I've reached the target, I'll I'll come back. I always like to mine a little bit extra because you're going to need it for some of the other missions coming up. So, I always mine maybe an extra thousand more than what they're asking for just to have a bit of stock. So, uh, yeah, I'll come back once uh, once I've got that. Right, so yeah, I've mined an extra, an extra thousand on that. So uh, I'm actually going to dock back up at the station. Drive active. So um, in the other videos that we did, the industrialist, I actually went through the the, uh, the neat little characteristic of the mining vessels, and that's that they have their own mining hold. So if you're wondering where your ore has gone, again, I said this in the in my other video, but if you're wondering where it's gone, check to see if there's a mining hold, and it should be in there. So I've got 2,000 of this, which is a thousand more than required. Requested. Requested. But like I said, we'll use it later anyway. So we're going to dock up, start the conversation, complete the mission. We're going to request the mission. So yeah, we now have to get. Uh, Tritanium, which is through um, reprocessing that ore we got, basically. So the guide is going to show us how to use the reprocessing plan. So we're going to accept this. Uh, do I already? <laughs> I might already actually have some Tritanium mined from the last time. Uh, let me just quickly check this. I do. So I think if you followed my guide, you're probably going to have some of this left over from then as well. So we can just straight through complete this mission and not have to worry about it. Um, while I am here, I will move the ore that we've got left over into our hold or into our item hanger. Uh, what am I doing? Stackle. That's what I want. Right, there we go. So that's done. So you've already completed this mission, so I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to complete mission. We get another little venture, which is great. Um, what else? I can't remember. Didn't pay attention. Um, anyway, so we're going to request the next mission. And they want a 1MN civilian afterburner. And we'll be granted one. We'll be granted the blueprint. Uh, so this one, we probably will actually have to manufacture something. So um, let's just accept it and see what happens. <laughs> so again if you're like me you might actually have a civilian um afterburner if you don't you can either use the blueprint um and that will get you that will make you one or if you really if you want to cheese it what you can do is you can board your corvette or if you have a corvette here which i don't but um, if you if you haven't got one, board it. And then if you strip it, that will do the same thing. Because as long as you've got a civilian afterburner in your inventory, it will complete the mission. And I've got three of them already. Um, 
What I am going to quickly do, though, is just see how long it would take to make one, just so I can explain the process. Right, okay, I'm, I'm not going to make one because it's going to take four minutes and I don't really want to sit around waiting for four minutes. But if you haven't got one and you don't feel like cheesing it, as long as you've got the tritanium, which you should have after doing the reprocessing, to reprocess stuff, actually what we'll do is we'll, I'll show you how to reprocess just in case because it's, it's part of it anyway. So let's find the ore. He now can't find the ore. Uh, there he is, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stack of this and just take 500 of it. If you hold shift when you click and drag and let go, you can get to split it. So to reprocess this, uh, you need the ore. You go to this icon here, opens up this window, you drag the ore in there. It tells you that you're going to get a thousand titanium for it. It's going to cost you 81 is to reprocess it. So we're going to do that. Bang, it's done. If we stack it again, we can see our titanium has gone up back up to 6,000. So that's how you reprocess. As I was saying, if you don't want to cheese it or um, if you want to actually make it, make the afterburners, if you right click the blueprint, blueprint, use blue, blueprint. Oh, I'm having problems saying blueprint. <laughs> um, and you'll get this uh, industry window pop up and it will list your blueprints down here. They want civilian afterburner, select it. It tells you that it needs uh, 64 uh, Tritanium uh, and your output will be, uh, this is your blueprint, it tells you how many copies you've got, uh, how many runs you've got remaining on a copy. So because this is a copy, each copy has a limit on how many run, or how many jobs it can actually run. So if you, you, if you run this once, this blueprint will be consumed and we'll have to get another blueprint. Some of them have, you know, they can be any number. Basically, you use the originals to make the copies. And when you make the copies, you can specify how many runs you have on a blueprint copy. But the, the more runs you have on it, the longer it takes to copy the blueprint. Um, a little bit confusing if you're not used to that kind of thing. But basically, you have the original, you copy it. The more copies you want to be able to run from it, the longer it will take and the more it will cost. Um, but that's the idea. So make sure you've got enough materials. This is what you're going to get. It's going to take us, it will take far, like four, four minutes, 42 seconds to basically make this. It will cost 14 isk. Um, you can reduce the amount of time it takes to manufacture of, of um, skills and stuff, but we're not going to bother looking at them. And then you just click start. Um, and then once the job's finished, you come back here and um, you can click claim or it moves it straight into your inventory. I can't remember which. Um, we might have to do this process later on anyway, but I just thought I'd cover it now, seeing as this will take four minutes. I think we actually have to make rail guns, but um, we'll look at that later anyway. But um, anyway, as I've already got the afterburner, I'm just going to go straight through and complete the mission. Uh, just gonna check the time. Yeah, we're fine on time, so we're gonna grab the next one. So we need to get seven thousand titanium, and we need to drop it off at the station, and we'll be granted another mining laser upgrade. Uh, we're gonna be granted this, sorry, and we'll get another mining laser one. So I'm going to accept this now. Because I already have, uh, da, 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 where is it? I've got 500 more. Where is it? He can't find it again. He's blind. Uh, there it is. I'm going to reprocess all of this. Which should now, uh, I think, Give me enough. What did it want? It wanted... How much did it want? 7,000. How much have I got? 7,000. Right. So, again, I'm going to shift and left click to the mining hold. I'm going to put in the 7,000. 
Okay, I'm not. I'm going to move it to the mining hold. Oh, that's right. It's not all anymore, so it won't actually go into your mining hold. So uh, I forgot about that. It's going to have to go into my bay. So... Uh, okay, one second, guys. Yeah, I'll be back in a second. Right, okay, sorry about that. Um, for some reason, it looks like it wants us to go to the, out to the asteroid and mine these, uh, mine the resources to come back to reprocess them. So uh, what we're going to do to speed up the mining process is I'm actually going to change my fit. I'm going to take off my... Gatling gun and I'm going to stick on the mining laser one that they gave us earlier Like that Ah, oh, right, okay That's what they want to teach us. Okay, I remember now. So, scrap all of that. We need to keep the Gatling on because they want us to go to a belt, mine the belt, kill the rat, and then come back. Reprocess the ore, mission complete. So leave your ship fitting the same as it is. Do not change it. And we're going to undock. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I should have read the mission. It's my fault for not reading the mission. So yeah, we're going to warp to the site. Yeah, destroy the rogue drones, mine the vat, yeah, about to spy out for your agent. You'll need to reprocess the ore for minerals. So, yeah, they want us basically to destroy these drones. Uh, so, we can do this while mining, actually. So, I'm going to actually approach this orbit at 5,000. 5, Stick on our afterburner. Start mining. They won't like that, so they'll come in and try and kill us. Yeah, gotta be a bit closer before I can actually attack them. Actually, let's just aggress to them and let's see if we can just destroy these quickly, shall we? As long as you stay within 10 kilometers of the asteroid, you can carry on mining. So. Oh, I turned off my laser. So I put my laser back on the asteroid. Don't want to get too far. Oh, managed to catch it. So yeah, we'll uh, kill these drones. Uh, nothing to loot there. So yeah, they want us to mine, so we're going to have to mine. So I will uh, fast forward this until um, until I've completed the quota. So I'll catch you that then. Right, we're, we've hit our quota. I'm not going to mine. I would normally mine a bit more, but um, I already know I've got enough titanium in the in my inventory to complete this quest. So when I get back, it should just ask me to complete it.
What you will need to do if you haven't got that kind of reserve is just reprocess the uh, ore that we've mined like the way I showed you and then you'll have enough. So it's going to dock up here. Docking request accepted. Yep, so we can start our conversation straight away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the ore into my item hanger. So it's already there waiting for me. And then I can start the conversation and complete mission. Uh, and we'll have a look at the next mission. So we need to do crates of electronic parts. So we need to take these crates and drop them seven jumps off. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this mission and then um, wrap up the video there because this is just a delivery mission. So um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll catch you guys um, when I'm in the system. So I'll see you over there. Oh, actually, before I do that, <laughs> make sure you move the items to your ship. Now, interestingly, you don't actually have to use the venture for this, so it's actually a good thing I come back to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my uh, Merlin, put the items in there, because my Merlin's a little bit faster and safer as I can shoot things. So yeah, make sure you put the um, actual items into your cargo hold. Swap ships if you want to. So if you want to switch over to back to your Merlin, please do, or whatever ship you want to use. And uh, yeah, just set destination and then jump over there. So yeah, I'm going to catch you now when I'm in that system. So I'll, uh, I'll see you over there. Right, so we're in the destination system. So we're going to dock up at the station. I don't know about you guys, but I went through Jita on the way here, and my god was it full. There was like 2,000 people in local. It's like crazy amount of people at the moment playing the game, which is great for the game. Um, what was that? When I finished work at 6 o'clock, I, I quickly checked. Um, I just opened up the launcher just to see how many people were uh, currently logged in, and at that time it was over 30,000, which is uh, the biggest I've seen it. Uh, for a while, so the uh, the expansions really uh, brought people back. Um, anyway, we're going to start the conversation, complete the mission. Don't worry about the rewards. The rewards will be deposited back at his station, so our primary station currently, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, we're going to request the next mission, um, and we are going to acquire 20 cap boosters, um, and we're going to make them but first of all, we're going to set the destination back. I'm going to have to go for Jeter again, but never mind. Um, yeah, so just make sure you look at the next, request the next mission, and then you can right-click set destination, and then that will get you back to the home station. So yeah, um, yeah, I will catch you guys back over at our home station. Right, so we are back at our home station. And this will conclude basically episode 15. We have, we've done some hauling, we've done some mining, we've done a little bit of manufacturing if you've not been able to do that. Um, before then, we've, we've gone through and done that. So um, the next mission that the agent will offer us, let's have a look. So we're on mission six of 10 and we, oh yeah, we've got to make the, the uh, cap boosters. So that will be in episode 16 which will hopefully be coming out or being uploaded um not soon after, not not too long after this video but um yeah i'm going to wrap up uh, episode 15 here i hope you guys liked it if you did please leave a like comment and subscribe they all help out the channel greatly and they really do bring a smile to my face when i see you guys um doing that um 
let me know if you're returning to eve what's brought you back if you're brand new to eve um what piqued your interest what made you want to play um and let me know how you're finding it and if you're uh if you're doing the expansion and stuff then you know let me how let me know how that is because i've not done um anything like factional warfare and stuff like that so let me know how you get on with all that kind of stuff but um anyway guys i'm gonna leave it here so i will catch you in the next one until then you will stay safe fly safe and i'll catch you in the next one <laughs>